Hey, hello scrappers, back again. Thought I'd get out of here and make uh, Wednesday's video before this uh, real, real cold Arctic blast came in. <coughs> you see, it's still about 20, 22 degrees out here, which uh, I was in there getting the video transferred from the camera onto the computer and whatnot and fixing to grab a bite to eat and then my daughter come in and said there's water running from out from the well house so where I had the uh, Just not wanting to fit on really well. Trying to loosen that up good. Or I had a, some half inch going to the outside water spigot. Apparently, there's a elbow there. As you, this is a half inch PVC. So I had to run into Ace Hardware and get some. Uh, PVC cement primer and got a couple caps and I just cut it and capped it off but of course I had to shut the water off and I, when I killed the power to the well house it kills all the power I need to put uh, in the spring or summer I'll try to put a cut off on there for uh, where I can kick, cut off just the just the well and not the uh, power plug I do have a cut off water cut off coming to the trailer <coughs> so today anyway I thought we'd uh, get that fan motor that came out of that condenser unit and if I get time I'll try to cut the noodles off of some of those but uh, first thing is you can see we got aluminum blades. I get my magnet and see it doesn't stick sticks there, but not here. So there's a few different ways we can do this. You could probably get oh let's see. Grab a hammer. You can get a cold chisel, hammer. kind of springy but you can knock them off with a cold chisel and hammer you can uh, get a drill bit and drill those rivets out which I'm going to use the air chisel my tool of choice sometimes I use a drill real easy that one's playing a little hard to get but we can get up underneath there so those came off nice and easy yeah, I'll go ahead and lay this over here just let's get an idea what these things way boot up the scale it's three fins weighed 15.6 ounces so almost a pound there 15 ounces I'll bring them in here and throw them in a sheet aluminum that barrel's pretty empty I got one out in that horse trailer, it's pretty full. 
Now this part may be may be difficult. A lot of times they sit out there in the weather, and as you can see, this is pretty rusty here. And yeah, sometimes they get pretty rusty, and they get hard to take off of there. So sometimes I have to get in there. Yeah, sometimes I have to get in there and just cut cut the shaft with the sawzall. I think that's what I'm probably going to do. I think. Where did I put it? It's over here. Now it's got a regular blade on it. I got a just and here's got a regular Diablo blade. I should have a uh, carbide. I think a carbide would cut that thicker metal quicker. I got a little carbide. I don't know if that'll work. I thought that longer carbide was on that other other sawzall, but apparently not. Okay, we'll just use this Diablo blade. Before I start, I'm going to put a little oil on there. There we go. That helps the blades last a little longer. Yeah, I'll have to look around and see what I did with that other long uh, carbide Diablo blade. Okay. Now sometimes also I get my little grinder here. Hopefully it'll reach. Nah, not really. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll plug it in over here. Because a lot of times cutting through that you're going to have a burr on the one side and then it's going to make it hard to knock through. So I'm just going to take... Try to go around the edge of it. Go around the edge, try to deburr that thing. If you don't have an angle grinder, you could use a file. Okay, and I'll get. Looks like it's about quarter inch, and that's that thing's way too small. Three sixteenths. Wow, I didn't know I had one that small. I got a quarter over here. I'll put it and grab. Let's check it first. Yeah, that fits. So I don't lose this Phillips bit. Put it over here on a magnet. I'm bad about losing those things. Grab a pair of pliers, and what I'll do, I'll hold this nut here with a pair of pliers and get on that bolt. There's one. A lot of times pliers work good instead of having to try to find what size wrench I need. Looks like I need to tilt down a hair more. Get it in the shot a little better. Yeah, I probably need to watch that old video and find on the turn down that condenser unit and see how many pounds of copper we had, tubing we had, the compressor we had just over four pounds, and probably at least two pounds in here. Okay, once I get there, 
See, I did that with just the pliers. Hammer would have been better, but I thought, well, I'll give it a shot with these. Nice looking copper there. Okay, so. Grab this thing, set it on top. Oh, grab the pin punch, hammer. Knock that through. Now someone was telling me you could take the air chisel and uh, put it right up on, on that edge and just split these, split that aluminum right off of those things. So I might give that a try here in a, a little bit. Might even do it on camera. That way we can <laughs> see together. Will it work? Just pop them off. We'll do the other one real quick now we'll clean them up a little triangle in there and we got all that and then what we got here is this oil impregnated cloth or fiber some kind of i'm not sure what it is that keeps the everything lubricated And we got a little metal sleeve in here. And then there's a metal cap on the back yet. Just trying to get the majority of this out of here for right now. And that one's the same way. So this cap here comes around it's, it's raised up and comes around that side so I think I can get under it with the pry bar yep that popped right off and make it a little easier Just knock that stuff through there just a couple little pieces left This one won't be quite so easy. But I think I'll do, I'll get that big pin punch again. Put it in upside down. So the bigger side, that knocked it right off of there. And now using the same punch, I'm gonna Go to the inside here, get on the lip. There, that one's clean. Yeah, that one's moved down, but it didn't quite break it loose. Okay, so now we've got the two metal insert sleeves and these two ends of the motor are now clean and let's see what they weigh cast aluminum 13.7 ounces so a little over three quarters of a pound 40 cents a pound so there's what maybe 30 cents there it all adds up Okay, now for this part, what I like to do, lay it on its side. Sometimes you can look in there and you'll see a kind of a flat spot and uh, So you see a little flat spot in there and a little gap so in that last video I was talking about about these grinding discs these go yonder 
and I said I got them at YouTube. Okay, figure that one out. Now I got them at Amazon. So I'm gonna, right now I'm compiling the two pieces of that video together and then I'm gonna try to get into uh, this other editing software and see if I can't put a, a text message into it. Or just the word Amazon, not Amazon, not the other one. Okay, I'm gonna get a bunch of this little stuff off of here. Got some, and then we're gonna, we'll cut our copper off of there, and we'll see what we've got in the as far as weight, copper weight. Okay, I'll put our bucket on here. Zero the scale. Okay. Let's see how much copper we got in this motor. I'm thinking somewhere around two pounds. Okay, gotta change bits real quick here. I think our overnight low tonight is supposed to be about seven. I know some of you guys are probably thinking that's nothing. We get to that all the time. I think here in Oklahoma, though, we're going to be setting some records. Yeah, I think that gonna hit around one or so or midnight one o'clock most of the snow is gonna hit tomorrow afternoon tomorrow morning tomorrow afternoon sometime. okay that's cleaned up I got a short iron bucket over here I'll throw that in there Got a little wire on there we gotta get cleaned off but just to get us a good estimate there yeah almost two pounds one pound 14.3 ounces you can see that 14.4 that must be yeah so i don't know five dollars so not too bad a couple little stragglers copper wire here on the workbench a lot of times what I do to get those little strands of copper off of here sometimes or they can be a pain to try to get the putty knife Piece of trash there. I 
Okay. So we got that part. Set that aside. I'll clean that up later. Shut that off so it's cold as it's getting. I always unplug the air. A lot of times I don't shut shut the air compressor off, but I will unplug the air so that it doesn't leak down as fast and doesn't come on as much. Okay, I'm gonna try to just cut these with the angle grinder and uh, see how that works. One thing I've learned a lot is when you get this uh, aluminum on there, sometimes it makes it harder for them to pull through. So I always try to cut it as close to the to the metal as I can. Get a bucket over here to throw the aluminum in. I'll try to get me a screwdriver or something Maybe try to get one that's pretty pretty stout we get another bucket uh, yeah let's uh, zero this one out okay Wait, this is almost shaped like a channel. It's almost a little hard to get in there and bend them little dudes. You can see why they call them macaroni. Sometimes it might be easier with channel locks. And like I say, sometimes it makes it hard when you got that aluminum hanging on there. Even with the saws, all I try to get it as close as I can. These are kind of, kind of a pain because of just the way that it's kind of in a channel. So I'm just trying to kind of rock it back and forth, bend them over one way and. Then Seems to be breaking loose pretty good that way. Yeah, the thing is, one one thing that do try something else. This is working pretty good like this. Set these two over here for a minute. Put that tin up against the door. Grab another one. And I might grab the sawzall on this one. So you can kind of see the difference. battery do we got in here yeah four four bar four lights video whether I want to try to I gotta stand it up but I'm gonna have to adjust the camera hope you can see
that thing that dull. Sure didn't want to cut through there. Teeth don't look too shabby. Uh, you know what I was looking for? I was looking at that. I was thinking that was my Craftsman, but I think my Craftsman's sitting down here. It's still got the, that Diablo blade on it. I'm just going to head and use the angle grinder on this. It's working a whole lot better. close did I got quite a bit of aluminum there I'm wondering if it would help and you guys probably didn't see a bit of that I didn't think about really adjusting readjusting the camera for that okay I'll put this in the vise and see if this makes it work any better As long as it's right there at the vise, it seemed to work pretty good. So, that one's a little tough. But this stuff can only bend so far right now because of the side of the vise. But yeah, it's giving me a Being kind of hard to pull out of there. We'll get on it with the channel locks and that one popped out good. And that halfway popped out and then started splitting on me. We'll get the rest of it. Like I said, like with that rounded edge right there, works really good for for prying. Try to get down in there. I just want to pull right up out of there. It's not wanting to hold really well. You can only tighten it up so much because it wants to squeeze it in too. That one pulled good. That one popped right out. Curious on the way to these things. Here in Oklahoma, I saw these ACRs, aluminum copper radiators. You either have to have an AC license. Uh, they say a farm tax number is an exemption. And I think scrap collector license. And a scrap collector's license will probably run you. I think the license itself is like $29, but you got to get a background check through the OSBI. <coughs> I think all in all, it's a little bit under 100 bucks. Without resetting this scale, which is some four ounces. Let's see what this one here weighs. If I can. It looks like seven, seven pounds, nine ounces. So that's uh, seven pounds. That's close to 14 right there. And that's just one third. Okay, we don't have any. So that would be 28. And then maybe another seven. About 35 pounds, maybe. That's how cold it is out here. Stuff's kind of... Dirt's froze on there. Dirt's froze on to the end of these things. So, it's kind of baiting do I want to cut that now. Cut it now or cut it later? Yeah. 
wait till it thaws out some and then that dirt will clean off of it better so even the wire brush isn't hardly touching it yeah just clean it up a little bit but anyway you get the idea so i think i might go ahead and call it a video warm my gloves up before i go back in the house you get the idea so i'm not sure what 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 the total is i made i guess i'll have to watch that other video and see how many pounds i had of copper tubing get an estimate of how much i made off that condenser unit but uh not bad it was taking a little bit of time so if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends how oh, the heat feels good huh nose is getting cold it's getting dark outside yeah share it with your friends if you're not a subscriber i'd appreciate it if you would subscribe and you'll see more videos like this where i tear stuff down i have uh, listed my published or I haven't published it yet but I have uh, posted it my ad for next month it comes out first of the month so I'll see how many calls I get for scrap to pick up I haven't even been down to the transfer station lately I'm trying to take my spare time and do some organizing and cleaning around here getting ready for spring for when things get busy Got a couple transformers here out of microwaves, so probably do a video cutting them down here pretty soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, you guys stay warm, especially those in the here in the U.S. because we got that cold front coming in, the Arctic blast as they're calling it. And uh, I think tomorrow's low or high at yeah, the low is supposed to be like about seven degrees. And then they're talking, I think, later this Monday, Tuesday, it's going to get down to like one. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be bitterly cold. A lot of people are already talking about well house and pipe being froze and everything else. I guess I could grab a see what our what, what little bit we got here weighs. 4.5 yeah 4.5 ounces okay so you guys take care stay warm and uh we'll, we'll see you in the next video bye bye yeah hello scrappers i'd get out someone wanted me to get some footage of the storm out here so i thought i'd get out here a little bit this afternoon and uh which right now it's about 20 after two about seven degrees out here it's not getting deep yet but we still got a long way to go I'm supposed to move out of here probably in the morning and then get another round coming in after that you can see it's coming down pretty good right now and it's supposed to go all night see how big of a drift we got back here behind these dryers not too bad not yet It. Yes, saying seven degrees and minus 13 degree wind chill. Bet the wind's not blowing real hard. Should probably put my hoodie up though and kind of protect my ears a little bit. Yeah, this monitor darkened down, so it's kind of hard to even see what I'm looking at here. Just thought there's too much white or what? But yeah, it's kind of blowing off the roof up there. So I'm going to keep this short. Don't want to be out here too long. So thought I'd give you guys a look, but there's places, where, you know, like there, there's just not, you know, really no snow at all. It's just blowing off. But then right here, it's kind of deep, probably four inches, six inches. So we're getting a pretty good little pile up here on the fender right there it's kind of deep 
kind of trailer's kind of blocking wind so it's piling up there so for the most part i'm trying to stay inside i'm not out scrapping today just watching videos on youtube so you guys take care and uh, we'll see you in the next video Monday morning, February 15th. Snowstorm ended, but there's supposed to be another one in tomorrow about 3 o'clock. Gonna dump another 4 inches or so. We're not real deep here. Right here. It's just a real light frozen snow. I think the high today is supposed to be 2 degrees. You see the drift there around that stuff. I don't know if you can see out there the truck or not. Piled up on the window. Drifted in pretty good right here. And behind the, the dryers. Kind of a drift over in there. No idea how the roads are. Of course they want us to go to work tomorrow. Kind of rippled here. I think it's supposed to be minus 18 or something in the morning. My question is, is my truck going to start? I got out here and did a lot of pruning on this tree because that damage from that ice storm in October. North wind's pretty cold. You got a pretty good pile of snow. On top of that water cooler, looks like a good foot at least. A lot hanging over the edge. I thought I'd just get out here and get a little bit of video footage. You know, several years really out, out here in Oklahoma without really even getting the snow here. So. big change this year so I'm gonna shut this thing off and get back in the house where it's warm so see you later